Hello. Uh, so today I am talking about Annabelle by Kathleen Winter. Um, so this story is set in 1968 in the part of Canada, uh, where the theme of the story is about a couple who have a child um, who is intersex. And at the point of birth, they decide that um, they will choose the gender of the child to be um, male. And they grow up the child as Wayne. But over through the course of the story, Wayne discovers that he has these feelings which he can't grasp at. Like he feels them strongly within himself, that there's different parts of his personality and being which isn't all male. Wayne has the physical body parts of both a male and a female. The mother is more open to the, the idea of just raising her child as a child and letting the child discover for themselves what type of person they want to be when they grow up. Whereas the father, Treadway, takes the lead and decides we are raising this child as a boy. And so ultimately, I guess through the lack of understanding of someone who is intersex is someone who is both of those parts, uh, they are suppressing one part of that person's being. and. Uh, Annabelle is actually the uh, daughter of a friend who drowned and died. The friend is kind of projecting the idea of the loss of her daughter is also the loss of Wayne's feminine self. So as a child, nicknames Wayne Annabelle privately, which causes kind of a bit of conflict further on down the line of the story. So basically, uh, Wayne grows up as a boy and experiences different physical issues with his body because it's suppressing the female aspect. But the, in terms of the aspect which I chose to focus on uh, within the story is um, a scene which Treadway, who's the father, makes a decision that this tent that he and his son created together was supposed to be used as a den and a base where his kind of male friends would get together and have wars and hide out and play games with each other and instead he chooses to hang out with his friend Wally who is a woman and um, they create it into a space um, as a sanctuary uh, where they can discuss music and do drawing and have frilly things and ribbons and it's at their private safe space hidden in the back of the end of the woods. Um, this initially causes some um, conflict for um, Treadway who's unsure about what, why he would be interested in these things. He shouldn't be. He's a young boy. He should be into hunting and doing male things like him. But what really tips him over the edge is that Jacinta's friend is also the uh, teacher to the young Wayne and they go through looking at um, the Greeks. Wayne's homework is to colour in a picture of a Hermaphroditus, uh, which is a Greek god which has both male and female parts. And this completely threatens um, Treadway and makes him crazy. And so he runs over to the back of this tent, which he sees as a source of this threat, as this great gender uh, bomb in his back garden, and decides to destroy it. But in the process of destroying it, he also destroys um, Wally's um, only access to this original music um, score, which was helping her uh, become an opera singer. And that, for me, was a really like horrible part of it as well, that not only this loss of this beautiful sanctuary, but also her opportunity to become uh, a, a greater singer in the future. And Wally really goes through it in the book, actually. I really feel badly for her. She ends up like, ha having her um, uh, an issue with her, her throat. I don't want to go into too much detail because of too many spoilers, but um, yeah, Wally, I feel bad for you. But going back to Wayne and Treadway, the tent is destroyed uh, by Treadway using a chainsaw and uh, Wally is horrified, but chooses to internalize that horror um, and doesn't uh, act out uh, against uh, Treadway at all. Treadway realises that he has done something which is wrong and bad for the relationship of the entire family. And so to try and cover this up and uh, make amends for it, he buys a dog. 
and unfortunately this dog is not loved by either Wayne or the mum because it is a living example of the wrong that he did and so this poor dog ends up being taken away later on but as the story continues that Wayne is growing up um, and, want, and becomes more aware of his feminine side and, and then is told later on I don't want to go beyond that point because the next stages of the, the book um, are looking more in terms of that transition that identity is altered uh, to reveal the fact that is actually an intersex um, person. So, but the, for the focus of the image itself, I focused on the scene where Treadway has is enraged by the situation of um, the uh, colouring and drawing that he has to do, and um, goes to the tent to destroy. And I'll go into that in more detail in the kind of expo explanatory video. Um, which I hope you will be checking out as well. If you have some views on Annabelle, please do share them with me. I would love to know what your take on it was, uh, because I'm not too sure about the second half, how I actually felt about it. Uh, and if you want to have a, a more detailed conversation, that would be great. Uh, if there are characters that you loved, like Wally, or even the mum, or even Treadway. I mean, Treadway does make a comeback towards the end of the story. Please make some interesting images, upload them. Do you have any favourite quotes? Please share them too, particularly if you are on Facebook, trying to get people to come to that space so that they can share their images, their quotes that are from different fiction or um, novels and characters that they love uh, and bringing it all together in that space. Anyway, uh, until next time, bye.